Hi, I am Linda, the creator of information about arthritis. If you are new to this channel, then do not forget to subscribe. Just click the button below and then click the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos when they are released. Also, do not forget to visit my website to learn more about these terrible diseases and download free articles. Arthritis is a complex medical condition that significantly impacts the body's complicated system. The symptoms are inflammation, pain, and often physical changes within the joints. Arthritis does not just attack the joints, but can attack various body systems such as the muscles, heart, lungs, etc. In this video, I shall show you how arthritis can affect your body and how you can develop effective management strategies. And delve into how arthritis disrupts the body's balance and explore the implications. Arthritis is a common condition that affects millions of people worldwide. Arthritis is not a single disease, but rather an umbrella term for a group of more than 100 different types of conditions that involve inflammation of the joints and the immune system. The most widespread types of arthritis include osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and psoriatic arthritis. The basics of arthritis affects the joints, which are the areas where two or more bones meet. Joints are covered by a layer of cartilage that provides cushioning and prevents bones from rubbing against each other. The immune system affects types of arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system plays a significant role. Rheumatoid arthritis has another name, which is an autoimmune disorder. This means the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy joint tissues, causing inflammation and damage. This autoimmune response can also lead to systemic symptoms beyond joint pain, such as fatigue, fever, and weight loss. Cardiovascular is another symptom, which is accompanied by chronic inflammation. Inflammation associated with certain types of arthritis might affect your blood vessels that can cause cardiovascular complications. Anne is linked to an increased risk of atherosclerosis, a condition in which fatty plaques build up in the arteries, potentially leading to heart disease and stroke. Arthritis not only affects the body physically, but also mentally and emotionally as well. When you develop chronic pain and limited mobility, you can become frustrated, depressed, and feeling anxiety. The challenges of managing this chronic condition and coping with reduced quality of life can have an impact on your overall psychological health. The disease can also have an indirect effect on the nervous system, this could be through pain signals sent from inflamed joints. Chronic pain can result in a feeling of the nervous system becoming more sensitive to pain signals over time, which can amplify the awareness of pain, making even minor discomfort feel more intense. Some medications can be used to manage arthritis, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. However, they could have side effects like gastrointestinal problems, including ulcers and bleeding. Also, certain forms of arthritis, like ankylosing spondylitis or irritable bowel syndrome, can cause inflammation in other parts of the body, including the eyes. The disease is incurable, so all you can do is alleviate the impact of arthritis on bones. These strategies include Number 1. Physical activity. You should do some low-impact exercises to maintain joint flexibility and bone strength. Number 2. Is medications. Certain medications can slow down bone resorption and reduce inflammation. 3. Is dieting. An adequate calcium and vitamin D intake is essential for maintaining bone density. 4. Is weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight reduces stress on joints and bones. And lastly, number five is occupational and physical therapy. These therapies can teach you how to manage joint stress and improve mobility. Pain is a vicious cycle as the inflammation triggers pain receptors known as nociceptors, leading to chronic pain. 
Likewise, pain signals can further worsen inflammation by activating immune cells, therefore releasing more inflammatory molecules. When the inflammation continues, it damages the surrounding tissues, including cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. The cartilage is vital for smooth joint movement, but the chronic inflammation makes it worse. This leads to reduced mobility and an ongoing sensation of pain, continuing the cycle of inflammation and pain. When you have inflammation, it is an important factor in the body's defense against injury, infection, and foreign invaders. Inflammation involves a complex series of reactions that bring immune cells, nutrients, and healing factors to the affected area. Inflammation in arthritis occurs mainly within the synovium, the membrane that lines the joint cavity. In response to various triggers, immune cells release inflammatory substances like cytokines, which promotes blood vessel enlargement and increases the absorbency of blood vessel walls. This invasion of immune cells and fluids causes swelling, redness, and a warm feeling. The goal of managing your arthritis inflammation and pain is to alleviate discomfort. You can do several things to relive these symptoms such as medication, these could be non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Weight management, regular exercise, and gentle activities can reduce strain on joints. Three is physical therapy, exercises can help improve joint function, strengthen supporting muscles, and reduce pain. Heat and cold therapy is another one. Applying heat or cold to affected joints can provide temporary relief by soothing inflammation and relaxing muscles. And five, meditation, relaxation, and deep breathing can help manage pain awareness and reduce stress. The conclusion is that arthritis is a condition deeply intertwined with inflammation and pain. Understanding the complex between these factors is vital for developing effective management strategies. By knowing the inflammation, interrupting the pain cycle, and adopting a complete approach to treatment, your quality of life will improve, your mobility will increase, and the symptoms will reduce. Ongoing research and advancements in medical science continue to improve on the underlying mechanisms of arthritis. Offering hope for more targeted and groundbreaking interventions in the future. The relationship between arthritis and bones is complicated. Either through cartilage damage, bone remodeling, or immune damage. I am not a medical professional and the information in this blog is for information only. If you have any worries, you should consult with your doctor. I hope this video has helped you and good luck. Linda